Hey guys, so yes, I'm in the car. It seems to be one of the only times that I really can make videos right now because it's so cold outside and um, there's just not a, not a lot of space or freedom inside and my tiny house is too cold at the moment because it's winter. So I'm in the car and I am here to talk about a question that I received in a couple different forums, but essentially, how do I feel about my decision to not go to college now? It's interesting, because it's definitely developed um, since I chose not to go to college, obviously. Um, initially, it was this point of like, kind of, achieving the um, the life I imagined for myself, I guess. It kind of felt like I had already succeeded because I had chosen the non-traditional path that not many people choose, becoming more popular now, obviously. But um, I would say that when I chose to not go to college, it was still in that time frame of, um, you know, it, was, it wasn't the popular decision, how about that? Um, and so, it was, yeah, it was this freedom moment of just like claiming that I wanted something different. And I think I've done this a lot um, in various ways, but it was, it felt good for me to just have a moment of just like, no, this is not what I need to be doing right now. If I want to do it in the future, I can, but really, I'm not going to. And, um, you know, I, I tell people kind of jokingly that I was taking a uh, life year, how people say they're taking a gap year, but I'm just going to live my life. And uh, I had no intentions of going to college or going to school. So how do I feel about it now? I definitely still think it was the right decision. Um, there have been points over the last year specifically where I think I even talked about it in another video maybe or in just a, a post or something. There's been a couple moments where I just was like, you know what, how much easier it would have been if I had chosen to, to not, if I had chosen to go to college, how much easier my life would be now. And I'm not saying that as, you know, some sort of a, a cop out that college isn't difficult, isn't challenging isn't um, yeah all that I, I definitely think college is very hard and challenging and difficult and you grow so much um, but I do feel like it's in a, in a very specific way for the majority of people and the possibility of growth is within like a certain um, <clears throat> window of exposure that you have during that time at college if that makes sense and so, I now feel like, you know, I've, I've had so many different experiences and I'm in many different situations and I have um, a lot of things going for me. At the same time, I'm also very overwhelmed. And, uh, I'm very, I think, physically, emotionally challenged in a way that I didn't think I would be when, um, when I decided not to go to college. Um, and that mostly has to do with my grandfather. Pretty much all of it has to do with my grandfather. So, like, ramifications from you know, my decision and me helping um, him, helping my family, it's just extremely challenging helping someone with uh, Alzheimer's dementia.
and uh, just memory stuff and um, aggression and not sleeping and a whole slew of other things. But so what I feel like I'm I'm trying to say is that what I'm dealing with now is extremely challenging, and I'm very grateful that I'm still doing it and I still have the energy and I'm capturing it and I want to make a documentary exposing um, you know just the the reality of um, Alzheimer's and then share my story because you know I feel like it's not for me I always need to create something from every situation that I that I head into and I really don't feel like I've created anything from this um, experience yet and so I think once I do create something this decision of not going to college will become even um, more solidified in my mind that it was definitely the right decision although I still feel like it is now but there are points where I'm just like, wow, it would have been so much easier for me to just go to college. And my path would have been very clear. Um, I would have ended up with debt and I would have start, started working right away. And in a couple years, I would have paid it off. And then, you know, then my real life would have, would have begun and I would figure out, you know, what I wanted to do and save up money. But here I am. Um, I feel like in a kind of similar place as to when I decided not to go to college in terms of um, I have a lot of different interests and I'm just exploring them and using all the time that I can find to continue to, to write, to read, to educate myself, to make videos. Um, and so this has definitely held me back. Um, in a lot of ways but I also think it's been necessary and it's helped me grow and um, it's gonna help me in the future so to sum up I guess <clears throat> the decision to not go to college was a decision that was very much aimed toward me getting to where I wanted to go in life and feeling like college didn't fit that for me um, and ultimately that I would never fit into a, a degree or a plan by an institution um, in, in any way. That doesn't mean I won't perhaps in the future take a college class uh, if something is of, of interest to me. I'm open to that, but likely I still um, wouldn't. And overall, the feeling now is just of um, gratitude for my life decisions that I chose this because it's opened me up in so many different ways and given me numerous more opportunities than I would have had. Um, I've traveled so much. I have um, grown. I've been given time to cultivate um, different avenues that I want to explore and figure out which ones really feel like, yeah, you know, I could see myself uh, doing this for a living type of thing. So I'm not sure if that really I think that answered the question, but I might go back and film another video um, in the not too dif distant future with with like bullet points because I kind of feel like that's a little more helpful than me just kind of ranting about my experience. But um, yeah, I I don't think in the places that I would get a regular job that um, I would need a degree. And so regular jobs I might consider would be like photogra photography, videography, um, 
social media management, uh, social media strategy type of stuff, um, web design. Obviously, there are places that would require a degree, but I would say that the majority of them would base um, would base their opinion on the work that you've done. And so, um, it's all more in the creative fields that I feel like I'll be working. If I do end up with a traditional job, which also another topic, which I think I'll talk about in another video too, but. I just want to say that, you know, after I, you know, end my taking care of my grandfather, I think the idea of having a set schedule and specific work hours and then I can work on other stuff at other times sounds really nice and very um, clear and organized, which I just haven't had in so long, which I really want. So I'll likely have some sort of a job like that for, I'd say, at least a year um, after all of this stuff kind of ends or some other person is taking 